Each of us is responsible in our own special way for building this nation. Do we have what it takes? What are the ingredients necessary for this process? Building blocks of nationhood. The family is the cradle of culture, the strength of a nation, the stronghold of civilization. And today's family has the greatest opportunity the family ever had to act significantly so as to ensure the continuance of all that makes people human, the virtues of justice, freedom, love, prudence and courage. But the social map has been torn up. Values of yore have been disregarded and discarded as being old-fashioned. Dramatic social and technological change have altered the structure and style of our way of life. Yet marriage and family life persist as valid institutions because human beings need to belong in a close social relationship with others. The family then is the building block, nay, the cornerstone of nation building. It is in the family that the child gets its first opportunity to learn those values that are necessary to building a great nation. It is through the exchange of ideas in the family circle that excellence is born and bred. What goes on in such groups determine whether we shall have first-class men and women with active brains, disciplined imaginations, and dynamic aims. Where else is the child to learn virtue than in the family? The virtues of justice, frugality, industry, sincerity, moderation, humility, discretion, courage, wisdom, fortitude, and honesty. These values contribute to the mastery of life and happiness, features that cannot be ignored without damage to our society. In a good family, there are always present the curbs and controls that constitute good government. Such is discipline, because it must be learned as a quality essential in all walks of life. The family is the place where, more than in any other, the art of cooperative living is learned. Here, too, is learned the beginnings of religion, the obligation to be useful and to bear one's share of the load. To inculcate responsibility, therefore, is the duty of the family. Knowledge of the industrial environment, the division of labor, the principles of individual contribution, the use of money, all these should be taught in the family. Thus, in the transmission of ideals and culture, in the building of character and the qualities needed in this changing world and in our changing nation, the family of today must be the burden bearer and the pathfinder. The family is, after all, the single most important influence upon the future of the child, hence the life and future of our nation.